Hi, I'm Robin Jackman reporting in from the PPC Newland Stadium in the bustling city of Cape Town. For the past six years, Grace Vision has continued to serve the poorest of the poor with their free rural eye care program in the remote OR Tambo district of the Eastern Cape. These scattered villages surround their high-tech eye surgery unit based on the Situlele hospital grounds. But now the time has finally come to extend these services to the even more remote villages in the valleys and hills surrounding the rural and isolated Kanzibe Hospital Centre. So join me on a challenging journey and let's go and find out what the Grace Vision team are up to. Grace Vision not only offers free eye care services, but they also offer study and employment opportunities to many of the local residents in an area where the household income can be as low as 15 rand a day. I thank Chris Vision for visiting us and for providing the youth of this area with jobs. It helps our people, especially the poor people who couldn't afford to pay the expensive rates for glasses and for cataracts. Chris Vision does not only do cataracts, but it also helps the students like in schools who have the low, low vision, helping them by providing them with glasses. We once went to a school named Ngabe JSS, then there we find a boy who was 17 years old, still doing grade seven, just imagine. In his eyes, it was blur, like he couldn't see anything. He was struggling so much. But since we provided him with glasses, now he's excited. Grace Vision were delighted to discover and provide Luazi with spectacles at the late age of 17. The goal, however, is to reach and help all students at a much younger age so that they have a chance to reach their full potential. The staff instruct the students how to use and care for their spectacles. Okay, John, so now you've just dragged me across some of the worst roads I think I've ever driven on. For well, Robin, I brought you to Kanzibe because this is one of the remotest places within our country and nobody else wants to work here. So Grace Vision, having worked at Zitunele, has developed in the last five or six years a model that is perfect for rural eye care and we are replicating this now at Kanzibe. And there are four components that are key to making this model successful. A fully equipped mobile screening vehicle carrying a team of seven staff members who can screen up to 50 patients a day. A smaller mobile vehicle with three team members visiting schools and screening up to 200 learners a day. Professional local medical staff and students in training. A fully equipped surgery based at a government hospital dedicated to performing cataract surgeries. I enjoy working with the Grace Vision team because we go to the clinics and see people with poor vision. Because I remember when I was in the truck the other day, this old lady, she came with poor vision and then she saw our optometrist done and then she prescribed the glasses. And then when I give her the glasses, I put them on 
and then the lady was starting crying and then I asked her what's wrong mom and then she was like I never knew that I'll see the world clearly again. Without this Grace Vision Track I don't think you will be able to help these people. What I can say to the funders of Grace Vision May God bless them so that they may keep on, so that they can spread their wings and fly all over South Africa, not just in Eastern Cape. As you can see, the need in the Eastern Cape is enormous, far beyond these valleys and hills, where the forgotten poor are desperately in need of a miracle. You can help make that miracle happen by becoming a Grace Vision donor and partner, earning maximum BEE merit points for your organization. Please consider it, you'll be glad you did.